So how do we now couple that series of U.S. dollar resistance levels based on Fibonacci with now the support levels that I could utilize with the Fibonacci on the euro? The dollar obviously is going to be secondary confirmation. And as this market falls, that 4 a.m. triangle set up here, again, remember, 4 a.m. represents the end of the overlap between basically Asia and Europe and the U.K., and this break actually accelerated from basically 4.30, 5 o'clock. Look at the 7.86 support. We know 8.86 is going to be support. Every one of these Fibonacci levels heading down is going to be support. Okay, you could add to that, or in lieu of, you could put in the double zero at 42. You could put in the, uh, the 42.50 psychological number. But let me tell you something. The, the psychological numbers we absolutely should respect. But if you take a look at how accurately the Fibonacci can actually provide a lot of uh, support, it's uncanny. Okay, six one. You know the six, the one point six one eight at forty one seventy five. We know we have a forty one eighty level nearby our minor psychological number. So that's that's a level we'd, we'd be watching anyways. But when you want to see the the detail in the in the ticks or the pips or whatever it is you're drawing a Fibonacci on, you'll see that detail in a Fibonacci. You'll miss out on that detail, usually on a psychological number, but we still have to respect them. So what we've done here is we've overlapped the psych numbers and the Fibonacci, which is really the best combination. And notice here we made a low of, I'll bring the cursor window into view, we made a low of 4287, the low here? No, I'm sorry. We made, that's, the, that's the wave low. What am I talking about here? We made a low of 41.77, just two pips from the Fibonacci projection that, remember, we could have had this Fibonacci projection waiting out there when prices were back up at 4,300. So 120 pips later, the 618 is within two pips. That's amazing. That's amazingly accurate. Okay? That's amazingly accurate. The very next candle slices down through it. And we slice through the, seven, the 886. Now remember something. At the close of this candle, the market tried to pull up a little bit, and then the next subsequent candle sold off. But you got to remember, as you're trying to manage this trade, it's not a matter of waiting for where the market's going to turn. We're not looking for um, taking the entire move. That's really not the way the, the trade management works. Trade management m most effectively should be where you have set targets, which are, in this case, support levels, which are where you're going to park your profit targets. So you, it, the difference here is, rather than waiting for a market turn where everybody knows the market's turning and everyone's scrambling to get out, you want to get out while you can, not when you have to. It's a very different approach, and that's what Fibonacci helps us get the, sp the specific details on. 